Amrita and the Trees, retold by Sue Argano, illustrated by Christopher Bruchtod. Here is Amrita, and here is her village. It is hot in the village. It is very hot. Amrita loved the tree, the beautiful big green tree. I love you, tree, says Amrita. I love you, green leaves. They keep me cool. There is a forest near the village, a forest of the trees. And there is a desert, a desert of, of hot, hot sand. Amrita doesn't play in the desert, so it is too hot dear, much too hot. But she often, often plays in the forest. It is cool dear, nice and cool. One day men come, they come with axes. The king wants wood, he says. The men from the village must go. The Amrita fathers must go. They must go and chop down the trees, the beautiful forest trees. Why, cries Amrita, why, stop it, she cries. But the men don't hear her. The king wants wood, so the men don't listen. They chop and chop and chop. Then it rains, it rains a lot, it rains and rains. There are no trees to hold the mud, so the mud and water fill the river, and the river floods. The river floods the village. Help! cried the villagers. Climb to the tree, climb to the branches of the big tree. Houses float away, animals float away. The villagers climb to the tree. They climb to the branches of the big tree and their village floats, their village floats away. There, then there is mud, 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 mud. And they, now everyone must work. They must build, they must build the village again. They must plant, they must plant new trees. Grow quickly, trees, they, they says. Grow quickly, grow tall. The, villager, the villagers build their village again and the new trees grow big and strong. Amrita grows too, she just married and everyone dances. They dance around the big tree. They dance and sing. Everyone is happy and everything is beautiful. Then Amrita has children and her children love the tree. A beautiful being green tree. The forest trees are big and strong and Amrita's children play there often. It is cool, dear, nice and cool, but they don't play in the desert. It is too hot, dear, much too hot. Sometimes the wind is strong. The wind is strong and he, and he blows the sand. The sand tries to go to the village, but the forest trees are there, so it can't. A little sand comes through to the door, and Amrita's sits in it away she sits in bed outside thank you forest breeze she says you can help us in many ways ways then one day men come again they come from the king the king wants more wood he says get up get up he says the village he says to the village men Get up and help us. They must chop down all the trees. At first, nobody speaks. Nobody says anything. Get up, get up, says the king's man. Sl slowly, the man get up. The man get up. No, says Amrita. You can't have our trees. We need our trees. You can't chop 
Then the be quiet woman says the king smith. The king wants team. No, says Amrita. We can't have team. Yeah. Be quiet woman, he says. Take your children home. Right, let's start work. Let's chop this for free, free first. No, cries Amrita. She ran to the tree. She puts her arms around it. You can't chop it down. Stand away, shouts. Shouts the king's man. No, say, says Amrita. Then the villagers run. They each run to a tree, and Amrita's children run to a tree. They put their arms around it. The king's men are angry. Move away from the trees, they shout. No, shouts Amrita. No, shouts all the villagers. No, no, no. No, say Amrita's little children. No, no, no. This is wrong, says the king's man. These people need their trees. It is wrong to take them. He must to go. They must go to honor another place then the people speak look there is a forest our over there across the desert look there is no village over there takes take some of those trees yes take some some of those trees say samrita but now all of them and remember to give. Don't just take. Give, give, 